Okay, everyone, just me, Jeff Donnelly, jpdonnelly8.com, jpdonnelly8, a bunch of different places, uh, Raw Emotion on Facebook. So this one right here is going to go into where, where, where they're basically claiming that the AK-47s are, where an AK-47 is not a machine gun, and where I'm not a firearm collector because I don't have a CNR license and where they don't want to allow me to testify to what a machine gun is. Hell, every, everyone under like 45 years old knows what a machine gun is because Call of Duty and all these other video games where you know what a machine gun is. Da, 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 da. Come on. It's, it's general knowledge what a machine gun is. And an AK-47, it's general knowledge that an AK-47 is an assault rifle, is a machine gun. You know, like, that's a machine gun. The civilian ones are not, are not model AK-47s. They look like AK-47s, but hell, I've got a Mustang. I don't have a Shelby Mustang or Shelby Cobra. Do they look alike? Yes. Can you make them look alike? Yes. Are they the same thing? No. A Shelby Cobra would whoop my car's ass any day. But yeah, they're also arguing in this right here, part of my cross-examination, part of the cross-examination myself, that I'm not a firearm collector, even though you've seen the videos of my firearm collection. I don't have crates of, you know, like AR-15s. I don't have crates of Glocks, Glock 19s. I have a collection mid 1800s all the way to current and as well you know like uh with a cnr license as a lot of people don't realize is all it does is it stops you from having to have firearms shipped to an ffl in order to purchase well older ones pre-1980 something i believe or maybe 1960 something i don't have a cnr license so i really don't pay attention to what it really does but from my knowledge is it just saves you some money on a transfer fee, and I really didn't care. I'd, I'll, I'd rather go to an FFL to make sure that it gets from point A to point B. <clears throat> so here we go. Okay, like, uh... Anything further, Mr. I rest for now. All right, thank you. You may inquire, Attorney Hodge. Thank you, Your Honor. Just one moment. Mr. Donnelly, you said uh, the police report lists these firearms as machine guns, correct? Well, automatics. Or either machine guns or, you know, an automatic firearm, which would be oh, machine guns here yes in your testimony yes. yes can you point in the police report where the words machine guns are yes okay first off firearm ak-47 could you show me the word machine gun on that page sir uh ak-47 is in fact could you a machine show gun me the word machine gun on that page well, an AK-47 is a machine gun. Is that your understanding of an AK-47? Or is that what an AK-47 is actually? It is actually what an AK-47 is. It was developed uh, in... So yes. are you a firearms expert, sir? I'm a firearm collector. Oh. Are you a firearms expert in... under the law in Massachusetts? I'm a firearm collector. Hold on. Also... Oh, hold on, sir. There's no question in front of you. Well, so, I mean, who's taking this away? There's also other firearms, too. Please show but, me... On the document where the words machine guns are. Well, it says 45 auto, 45 auto, 45 auto. Thank you, sir. It's the words machine gun. Okay. Can you show me in here? Uh, no, I cannot. Okay, thank you. Now, you just said you're a... Uh... Now, see, if you remember when uh, in my video where Deputy Chief uh, Kent testified, I tried to stop Deputy Chief Kent from speaking, from clarifying. And the judge said no and allowed him to continue. Where I tried to do the same thing 
You notice how the judge cut me off quick? He stops me from cutting off Deputy Chief Kent, but allows ADA Hobbs to cut me off. Kind of strange, huh? And come on, machine gun, machine gun, machine gun. An AK-47 is a machine gun. When you read it, when you read 45 automatic, what is a machine gun? A machine gun is an automatic firearm. So did it say machine gun? No, but did it say machine gun? Yes. Okay. Uh, yes. Earlier, you had testified that you're a bona fide the firearm, is that correct? Uh, yes. But you only have a license to carry Class A, is that correct? Yes. You do not have a collector's license? I didn't need it. Is there not a difference between a collector's slash machine gun license and a license to carry? Yes, sir. Okay, so in order to be actually a bona fide Collector firearms? What do you need a collector firearms license? Uh, yes or no, sir? No. So you filed a motion to dismiss in this matter. Uh, a little while ago, you testified that uh, Sergeant Mudkerski just asked you who you gave those firearms to, you would have told them, is that correct? Possibility. But that's what you just testified. Yeah, possibility. Not possibility, you said you would have. Yes. Probably. In your motion to dismiss, did you not write, Mr. Donnelly is not going to say if, who, or where in the great state of Vermont his firearms are located. Is I may have that. Is that the court? I may have. On May 7th, when the police told you that you needed to turn in your license to carry firearms, you did not do that, did you? No, I did not. And you told them no, correct? Yes, I did. Okay, now, if you look at this, I don't think I wrote that in my motion to dismiss. I don't know if I did. I don't know if I didn't. But if you look at it, was I going to tell them? No. No. If they would have told me, like I've already said on the phone, if you don't tell us, we're going to arrest you, then yes, <laughs> obviously. But just to give them that information, no, it ain't going to happen. It wasn't going to happen. But if they threatened me with arrest, if I didn't give them the information, of course I would have told them. But if you look at it, they never wrote in their complaint, they never told me or anything, that they told me that they were going to arrest me if I didn't give them that information. And by seeing, by being someone who's actually gone to school for criminal justice and everything else and worked in the system, I'm aware that, well, how it should have happened is a search warrant should have been issued to see if there's probable cause for the charges to be allowed. And if you look at it, no search warrant was ever applied for. Mr. Donnelly, within the scope of cross, you may further inquire and redirect. Okay.